I have nine ten suited. I'm in the small blind, and I have already established complete uh, knitism. This table, okay. Nice. nice. It's nine ten suited time. It absolutely is. <laughs> <laughs> what What's your suit? At hearts. Okay. Yeah, you got it all lined up. Oh, I got it all lined up, and I'm in the small blind, and I, I am desperately trying to find a way to play suited connectors that isn't just a call like i'm trying to yeah hide in my range a little bit you know what i mean i'm trying to get used to that yes it's me yes. two guys that are the regulars okay wow. so drew opens to 15 the other regular guy who's got a really big stack and constantly squeezes yeah squeezes every chance he can get yeah uh is on the button and he yeah. makes 45. I'm tired of the squeeze. So I'm going to squeeze back with my nine ten of suited. Oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> yep. So I go to 165. Holy shit. This is terrifying. If I'm a reg and a guy does this to me, that looks like you. I am terrified. <laughs> exactly. Right. That's, that's what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm going to do this. I did. Okay. Two, and they both call. Oh my God. All right. So, so I'm like, oh my God, I've got myself. You're, you're, you're taking on the two Vegas regular pros from out of position with nine ten suited. Bing, baby, you know. So let's go, let's go, let's go. So it's four ninety five to the flop, and the flop is ten ten ace. Oh, you got to be kidding me! No. <laughs> What's what are the suits? Uh the ace is a heart. The other two, I didn't mark down. I think that was they were not like, um. I don't know what it was. All right, but. something like this. Yeah. So I mean, I you sh you should. I, I mean, I would I would see bet the score. What, what I, did you wind up doing? I came out and I bet two hundred. Okay. So that was like a little less than half pot. Okay. All right. And call call. Oh God. Yeah. All right. What's the turn? It's a, a jack. This is a really interesting spot. Yep. Um, because like I wouldn't mind continuing to bet with one caller. The problem is if you bet into two callers here, I think it's going to be hard to get that much value from worse because it just looks so so strong from out of position into two guys when your image is what it is. Unless they just like somehow have like an ace jack here. Um, what did you decide to do? I I, I felt like I first of all I, I felt like I had to bet okay. be, because um I I actually thought I could get value from a couple of pretty big hands that I thought they might have. Which um ones? what's that? Which ones? Like ace jack, or I even thought ace king. Yeah, no, actually ace king can still be in their ranges. Um, I certainly thought it was in Drew's Ace King, Ace Queen, Ace Jack are your main main customers. Uh, the problem is again you're running into bigger tens and King Queen, and you're betting from out of position into two guys. So like the first guy, let, let me just tell you something. If if I was the first guy, not the guy closing the action, but like the first guy that's kind of sandwiched in the middle, yeah. and you made a and you made another bet here, mm -hmm. and I had Ace Queen or Ace King, I might just fold. Because you're betting into two guys after showing this much strength, and I have to worry about the guy behind me. So if I'm folding ace queen and ace king there, you're only getting action from me when I have ace jack suited or a 10. And, and my all 10s are or king queen suited. And and the other thought in my head was I'm I'm pretty sure these guys are better players than I am. You know, I think they just play more often, they have more experience, whatever. And I'm like, I'm fine if I take down a thousand dollars right now. I am perfectly fine with it. Yeah, I, I, okay, I, I it's it's you know, going to it's going to be thin. What's that? It's going to be a a somewhat thin bet into two people, um, and they do have a decent amount of hands that beat you. It's not like you have a lock here. But you have you are in a good good situation. I, I, I the only thing about checking the, the the counter argument is like your range might be in this spot. Like like the standard player would think your range is something like jacks are better, ace king, maybe ace queen. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So a lot of your range there actually wants to check. Like queens want to check. Kings want to check. Ace, king, and ace, queen. Like, I don't think you would make this bet with ace, king, and ace, queen once you've been called by two players. So those want to check. So it's like the only hands in your range that really want to bet are jacks and aces. So usually when that's the case, when so much of your range wants to check, usually it's a good idea to check a very good hand like what you have to give some strength to all that other medium strength stuff that's checking in this and is in this top spot. It's just a counter argument. I'm not saying betting is bad. It's just something to think about. Okay. What, so you, you, what was your bet size? Uh, uh, 60%. So I bet 600, 600 into, okay. Into a thousand $1,100 pot. Yeah. Okay. And what, what happens? A lot of thinking and then both folding. Yeah, that's what I thought you'd get from regs, unless they had ace jack or better. My guess is there was a lot of ace queen and ace king involved in this hand, and a bet from you into two guys just looked too strong. It's such an interesting play from you, given your image. I think that was really cool that you like went out of your comfort zone and took those guys on pre-flop, especially from out of position where like people are way less likely to bluff. Yeah. So I and think they and I felt like I've got to find some spots. Yeah. I used two spots to kind of, you know, use my image or whatever. Yeah. And like, I got to mix it up with these guys that, like, <clears throat> I got to mix it up with guys that I think are playing more and more consistently than me. And, 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 and as I said, the Drew guy already had told me, you know, he's, he's moved to Vegas. He's playing, you know, I guess you would call it professionally or whatever. Uh -huh. you know for a living yeah and the other guy was just irritating the hell out of me all night long um with his squeezing um yeah but uh i knew he was good you know what i yeah. mean sure so i just want to show you one thing in flopzilla because when i say to this this is going to sound weird because it's like oh my god i flopped a monster of course i got a bet here i just want to show you why it's a little thin and a little marginal Mm -hmm. If they don't call you with ace, king, and ace, queen, those are the two big swing hands. Mm -hmm. If they fold ace, king, and ace, queen, and this is what they call you with, okay? I have it highlighted here. Like, these are the hands that they could have arrived at this spot with, given your play. They could have jacks. They could have a bigger 10, queen 10, king 10, ace 10 suited. They could have ace jack suited and king queen suited. These are the hands that regs will have here that will call you. When you are called and ace, king, and ace, queen are not calling you, this is your equity. It's only 25%. We didn't get called, so we didn't have to really consider that. But if we were called, alarm bells would actually start to go off because what are they calling with that we beat other than maybe ace, jack, suited? Yeah, and but... Oh, that would have been, I'd have been oh shitting. Yeah. Well, yeah, but but that's what I'm getting at. So when we have a value hand, like clearly this is a value bet. We are not bluffing here. When that's the case and our reaction when called is oh shit, mm -hmm. it's usually not really a value bet, right? A value bet, we should be happy we were called. That's the definition of a value bet. I think most okay, yeah, agreed. You mean so, you're so what I'm getting at is is usually when we have a have a hand of this variety that's very strong, however, when called, we're going, oh shit. Usually that is a candidate for checking. Okay, but hold on a second. Yep. Maybe I'm only going oh shit because should I be going? I guess I should be going oh shit. Yeah. Well, okay. unless you make the argument to me these guys would never full days queen or ace king. Because as soon as we reintroduce those hands, if we give them top pair, now all of a sudden your bet's making money. They have to call with those hands, though. And that's why I'm saying to you, the first guy who's holding ace, queen, or ace, king, he might just fold because he's a good reg and he's got to worry about you and the guy behind him. Mm -hmm. So the only way we make money here is if the guy on the button, the squeezer, has ace, queen, or ace, king. If he folds those, then we're back in the 25% territory. Yeah. So, so so later on, we yeah. were 
So those kids were, you know, those kids were kind of yapping about the hand and, and Drew, who I've, you know, at least have a talking relationship with, goes, my smooth call on the flop didn't make you nervous at all. And I'm like, uh, he said, and I said, uh, I, I think I just said, I, I, I don't know. Um, or I, I don't know what I said. He goes, he goes, I would have thought it made you nervous, you know, when I smooth called on the flop. Because they're assuming they're assuming you don't have a 10 here. Like any part of your range has does not have a 10. Yeah, and that's what I th- and that's why, yeah, yeah. And and I'm like, yeah, no. Uh I, what I said, he goes, but it obviously didn't with your, you know, your turn bet when you came when you came right yeah. out. You know, that's he goes, insane. obviously you weren't nervous. They're confused. And- they think maybe you have ace king, but ace king wouldn't play this way. So what the hell do they do you have? Would you really play a boat this way? Right. And so I, I just yeah, they're trying to find out. <laughs> yeah, well, it's fine. And I knew, I knew I wouldn't I'd probably ever play them again. And yeah. you know, mind talking about it. Yeah. Um, I said, why don't you tell me one? You, you tell me a card you had. I'll tell you a card I had. Yeah. And Drew goes, all right. I had an ace. Yeah, of course. I said, all right. I had a nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 